A group of universities and nonprofits, they banded together for a common goal, that to help inmates get an education while they're behind bars. Our good friend Dominic attended the consortium's meeting yesterday at Vassar College, where they strategized about where to proceed. For these professionals, helping others is a calling, and they point out that education can change lives. Even talking about it at times can be an emotional issue. Jan, I just thought my eye was watering. I didn't realize. Um, I know that some of the women that are in our program have done terrible things. I don't look up their crimes and we treat them. I look at the future. Eileen Baumgartner is the director of college programs at the Bedford Hills Correctional Facility. Bianca Van Haydorn is Baumgartner's counterpart at John Jay College in New York City. Folks watching you right now will say they had their opportunity. They blew it. And what would I say? I would say that we, there aren't throwaway people ever. There isn't anyone that should be cast aside and forgotten about because of decisions that they've made. We all make decisions that, you know, if we had an opportunity to change them, we would. On a, on a personal level, I have, you know, family members and people who are very close to me who have also been incarcerated, and I'm concerned about them, right? My father was just released from prison three days ago. This group gathered at Vassar College in Poughkeepsie from different programs from around the state, coming together to speak with one voice. Right now, it's 18, 19 different colleges bringing credit-bearing college work into the Department of Corrections, but to put them all under one umbrella will really make uh, a unified organization that will have degree-granting capability and really credit-bearing coursework that will make an impact when they come home. New York is the largest state with as large a network of independent college and prison programs of this type. So there is a lot of initiative right now to try to push back on mass incarceration, to look towards programmings and education, and really rethinking how this generation gets educated. And New York is basically a laboratory for experimentation with this. As a result, uh, playing with a handgun, I actually shot my best friend and killed him. 46-year-old Kingsley Rowe understands a second opportunity in life up close, going to prison in Pennsylvania at the age of 18 for killing his best friend. He obtained his first college degree in prison, and two additional degrees later, he has a master's of social work from New York University. He now works at NYU as the prisoner reentry coordinator. You know, it's, it's, it's a shame that, you know, that I had to go to jail to go to college. You know, many people uh, in, in, in um, social economic depressed communities, you know, the only way for people to get to college sometimes is going to jail, which is, is um, utterly backwards. We know it's statistically demonstrated that the greatest check on recidivism is education. So if we're talking about lowering crime, there is no better preventive program than education in prisons. And as we lower crime and, and, and lower recidivism, we're also saving so much money for the American taxpayer. So by supporting these courses, we're making our communities safer and we're saving money for the taxpayer. Dom, you've done a lot of these uh, events uh, since you've been introduced to Hudson Link, and this time they had them all together. You were saying to me before, You've been to a lot of these where they do a lot of talking, but not a lot of doing. They really seem to be on to something here. Richard, when I say I've been to a lot where people do a lot of talking, I'm referring to separate groups, separate organizations. These folks are real. Whether you support this initiative or not, they are trying to better society, and they're doing it in the capacity of trying to make sure that people that have made terrible, terrible mistakes in their lives can get a second opportunity. And let's face it, Richard, you, you know, a point that you have made consistently over the years, people in prison are going to get out. And oftentimes in communities uh, of color, 
whether it's right or wrong, they end up being role models. So wouldn't we want them as positive role models to impact young people mm -hmm. and teach them that they can, they can do something positive and great with their lives? I, I think it's a great program, and of course, we're going to continue to follow. Great job, Dominic. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll take a quick look at local headlines after this. Stay with us.